Dr. Melika Aidboudis, welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. We are thrilled to have you on our channel, Science TV. Perhaps uh, Professor Melika could take a moment to introduce herself to our uh, viewers. Oh, great! Thank you so much for having me. This is a great opportunity for me as well. And as an Algerian living abroad, I'm so happy to see such great things uh, happening in Algeria, you know, with the uh, uh, the less resources people have, uh, yeah, they are really doing a great job at the uh, University of Tlemcen. And I'm also really proud of your channel because this is great. I'm, I'm really happy to see like young, talented people like you doing this kind of mm -hmm. things. Thank you. Okay, so um, of course I started my undergrad in Algeria in computer science mm -hmm. uh, years ago. Uh, and uh, I moved to Canada for my PhD in uh, omics technologies or comp computational biology. Um, during my PhD, I did some work on uh, breast cancer. So after my PhD, I moved to the US for my postdoc and uh, the US because this is where most of the research is happening. And uh, I moved to Boston in 2014 and I started my lab two years ago, almost two years ago now, at Harvard University in Boston, uh, working on omics uh, technologies, developing tools and pipelines, um, looking into the uh, transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics, and epigenomics to understand how viral infections or viruses affect the host immune system. I'm also interested in investigating um, how our immune system um, responds to vaccination. We all know that uh, vaccines are uh, not uh, one, one for all. Uh, some vaccines work much better in a specific group of people compared to the other one for the obvious reasons that the immune system of these individuals is not the same. We are not, we don't have the same uh, uh, baseline immune system. We don't have the same co-infections. Uh, uh, co if we are infected by a different virus, if we, if we have a different uh, disease or a different infection, we will respond in a different way to these vaccines. So this is also something I'm interested in in the lab. Okay, nice. So. Well. What motivated you to pursue your uh, specific area of uh, ex uh, expertise in biology? Perfect. Um, it, it's, it's funny because uh, my background is in computer science, but I always, always loved medical research. Actually, when I was preparing my baccalaureate here in Algeria, I wanted to be a doctor. Okay. And I was in a, in a math, a program de math, back math. And uh, back math, we don't do really science. Science was science it wasn't my my, my uh, cup of tea back then, mm -hmm. so I couldn't get into la faculté de médecine. But because I was in a math program, I got in uh, computer science, ingénieur en informatique. Mm -hmm. Et me, my passion, my passion for uh, medicine and research, never waned. As soon as I moved to Canada and I had the opportunity at the University of Montreal to join this program called Bioinformatics, mm -hmm. which is the combination of computer science and medical research or biology, molecular biology. This was for me, this was like a big uh, discovery because this is exactly what I wanted to do. I started my PhD in Montreal, then I graduated from the University of Montreal in the field I wanted to work on. Oh, nice. And uh, you, you know, I, I feel like I am blessed, yeah. thanks God, I'm really blessed because I did exactly what I wanted to do. I did exactly what I was dreaming of when I was still in Algeria. And now being having my lab and my research group at Harvard, one of the uh, most prestigious universities in the world, it, it, it's just a big achievement. I'm very happy, I'm very humble. I'm very happy because all along the way uh, I, was, I got help from many people and I'm very grateful to all these people who helped me help boost my career and uh, you know uh, so I can get where I am now. Okay, Thank if you. you want something in this life you can do anything. For exactly. Anything. Persistence, consistency, ambition and love. This is something I tell my students 
in the US and even here in Algeria, the students I had the opportunity to meet this week. Be consistent, be persistent, ambitious, and work hard, of course. Mm -hmm. Nothing is easy. Mm -hmm. Whether you are in Algeria, you are in the US, you are in Canada, you are in Europe, nothing is easy. Life is not easy for of course. anyone. But working hard, if you work hard, if you know how to set your objectives, you will get there. So, uh, what specific research topic uh, are you currently working on and uh, investigate? Perfect, okay. So, as I said at the beginning, I'm, uh, I have this uh, hybrid background between computer science and biology, immunology and virology. And this is also a very interesting thing, why? Because um, I can tackle hypotheses coming from the wet lab or the dry lab. Mm -hmm. So basically, I am interested in, uh, let's, let's take it uh, from, you know, from the beginning. Let's say we have virus, right? And we know that we know that this specific group of people are infected with a specific virus, mm -hmm. X virus, right? We want to understand what, what this virus is doing to the immune system, how this virus is affecting us or is affecting these people, right? Mm -hmm. So what's, our work as, at least in my lab, in, with my group, what we do, we collaborate with physicians or doctors or clinicians because we don't have access to patients, I am not a doctor, so we collaborate with someone who can collect the samples from the patients. Usually we collect blood samples, plasma, serum blood, and we take it from there. We sequence, this is just one small application among all the, the, the type of work we do. So we sequence the blood and we look at the expression of the genes that are modulated by this specific virus. When I say modulated, it's looking into how the, the, the transcriptome or the, the genome of this group of individuals is increased or decreased after infection, right? Now, if you understand the genes that are modulated by a virus, you can then look at the function of these genes. Are, are these genes involved in increasing inflammation? Are these genes involved in, uh, you know, some heart disease, kidney disease? And this is how we make the link between the omics, the type of analysis we do, the big data analysis we do as a computational team with the biology or the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the initial hypothesis about, initial hypothesis is about the disease, is about the virus, is about the patient. We take it from the clinic or wet, the wet lab to the dry lab, to the, the computer, to the big data analysis. I can understand. So, uh, science research, uh, is uh, not without uh, its challenges. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, so what obstacles uh, or challenges have you uh, encountered in your scientific research career? Perfect. Um, science doing research is about money. Yeah. You cannot do research if you don't have funds because it costs it costs a lot yeah. to run like one small tiny experiment. Um, Wherever you go, whether it's in the US in, or in North America or in Europe or in Algeria, funding, money is an issue. We have less issues in North America compared to Algeria, of course, because we can all see that uh, researchers here in Algeria are struggling to fund their project, to run their samples, to process their samples. But money is a big issue. A lab that is well funded usually in most cases is a lab that is very productive because you have the money, you have the hypothesis, you have the right people, you can do the yeah, experiments, you can analyze your data and you can publish your work, right? Um, this is one thing and I think this is the biggest challenge, the funding, the money. Uh, the second challenge I may say maybe is uh, the expertise. A research project is not about one person, it's about the teamwork. A computational biologist or a bioinformatician, just by himself or her, uh, by herself, mm -hmm. cannot do much. Uh, research is about collaboration, so it takes a village, right, to uh, to do something. I forgot uh, the expression. And uh, for research, it takes a team to uh, achieve, uh, to answer a hypothesis or to achieve a project. And um, it's this collaboration, this teamwork spirit, that makes a lab or a research group successful or not. 
it, it takes collaborations, it takes net networking, it takes uh, teamwork, it takes like some level of communication be between people. If we are working on the same project in the same lab, we need to make sure that we are on the same page, yeah. right? Because I need you and you need me, right? So fundings, expertise and uh, teamwork. So, uh, doctor, what are your uh, uh, aspirations for the future of uh, scientific, uh, scientific research and how do you envis uh, envision making a positive uh, impact on uh, society through your work? Perfect, thank you so much. This is a very interesting question, uh, obviously. Um, so, as a researcher in the US, uh, I'm, of course, I'm I have like some specific uh, research interests, right? So I'm a computational biologist by training. I have some expertise in immunology and virology by, you know, after working, w because I had the chance to work, to interact and collaborate with this uh, amazing uh, immunologists, physicians, clinicians, and virologists. So uh, two main questions I'm interested in. The first one is understand the host virus interface. And it doesn't matter which, what virus, right? How, I am, I'm just amazed how viruses affect our immune system, affect our health in general, human heart in general, because viruses are very smart organisms and they hijack, once they infect the host, they hijack the immune machinery, the immune system machinery, the machine, the immune system, the host immune system uses for its own, you know, benefits. So the virus takes over, take over and use it for its own um, benefit. So my first research focus is to understand the host virus interaction. Then the second is I'm interested in vaccine development. Uh, so I'm interested in understanding how vaccine how a vaccine work in general, but why a subgroup of people or subgroup of individuals when they get the vaccine, they benefit from the vaccine, they are protected or they, got, they get the benefit, but not everyone. So what are the differences between these individuals? Why the vaccine can make like a positive impact on X, Y, Z, but not on these other people? So it's, it's about, our immune system as individuals, but it's also about the, the environment because the way we respond to infection, the way we respond to vaccine depends also where we live, what we eat, and our general health. So these are kind of the major or the overall research, of, you know, projects I'm interested in. And um, for Algeria, I guess I'm trying to. I'm trying to kind of get in touch with, with uh, you know, researchers in Algeria just to share my expertise, help, uh, you know, um, try to fill in the gaps in some areas where they don't have the expertise or students don't have the, don't get the help they need to achieve their project. So this is something also I'm trying to work on in collaboration with uh, local researchers in Algeria. I hope uh, all the success. Thank you so much. So, uh, Dr. Malika Hidboudris, uh, the last question is, what did this uh, seminar highlight? Yeah. Um, okay, so this is the second, my, my second time in Algeria. Okay. This is the second seminar I attend in Algeria. And um, I'm, I'm really happy, I'm amazed by uh, the, how much people are uh, investigated in making this kind of events a success. And they are really doing a great job uh, given you know, the lack of resources they have. So um, it's about collaboration, it's about interacting with students, it's about also connect connections and networking. And I think the seminar did a great job in those you know, uh, topics. They were able to get together all these people from all over the world, from Europe, from Canada, from the US, from Africa. And uh, I had the opportunity to meet people, to connect with them, to share my work with them, and they shared their work with me. And uh, I think we need this, uh, more and more of these kind of events uh, to work on the uh, research strategy in Algeria. Okay, nice. So thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here with you. I'm uh, glad to, to sitting here with you. I hope, uh, I hope, um, I wish you all the best in your life. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Likewise, I'm happy. I'm really 
proud of all of you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what the future will bring. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah. Thank, Thank you. you. So much.